Good morning, All Saints. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and you are ready and raring to start this week. This week in Dave Verbum, we read from Matthew's Gospel on the Beatitudes, a passage that many of us have heard and know. We have heard this passage at many of our All Saints Day celebrations. In this passage, Jesus talks about true happiness. Let us read the Gospel and understand what it means. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus saw the crowds and went up a hill where he sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. Happy are those who know they are spiritually poor. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are those who mourn. God will comfort them. Happy are those who are humble. They will receive what God has promised. Happy are those whose greatest desire is to do what God requires. God will satisfy them fully. Happy are those who are merciful to others. God will be merciful to them. Happy are the pure in heart. They will see God. Happy are those who work for peace. God will call them his children. Happy are those who are persecuted because they do what God requires. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are you when people insult you or persecute you and tell all kinds of evil lies against you because you are my followers. Be happy and glad for a great reward is kept for you in heaven. This is how the prophets who lived before you were persecuted. In this gospel reading, Jesus lists the attitudes to life that will make us truly happy. They elaborate on what Jesus asks us to learn from him when he says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. In essence, he wants us to face two realities. One is that we are limited and the other is that we are by nature very gifted, and most of all that we share in the divine life. He asks us to accept the first and to appreciate the second. The Beatitudes which Jesus offers us are a sign of contradiction to the world's understanding of happiness and joy. The word Beatitude means blessed or happy. Each of these blessed statements is an ideal of how to live a good Christian life and how to find God close to us. We could look over our life and see if these statements fit, if they make sense, if they brought a certain wholeness to our life when we were humble, merciful, a peacemaker, a justice worker, mocked for our beliefs, or gentle. God is close to us in those moments. How can one possibly find happiness in poverty, hunger, mourning, and persecution? Poverty of spirit finds ample room and joy in possessing God as the greatest treasure possible. Hunger of the spirit seeks nourishment and strength in God's word and spirit. Sorrow and mourning over wasted life and sin leads to joyful freedom from the burden of guilt and spiritual oppression. God reveals to the humble of heart the true source of abundant life and happiness. Jesus promises his disciples that the joys of heaven will more than compensate for the troubles and hardships they can expect in this world. Thomas Aquinas said, no one can live without joy. That is why a person deprived of spiritual joy goes after carnal pleasures. Jesus didn't just preach it, but he lived. He knows about poverty, for he was born in a manger. Manual work, for he was a carpenter. Discrimination, for he was rejected and killed by his own people. At the same time, he transmits a total sense of peace. Blessedness is in the fact that God is near. God can use those who in the eyes of the world seem to have a little value. It also teaches us that when we are facing a certain trial in our life, don't forget that there are also blessings attached to it. Now, think of your own life and challenges today or this week or this year. What would be my own beatitude? In this wonderful passage, where am I drawn to in my prayer today? 
Who am I in this passage? Where am I blessed? Does any of it relate to my current situation? Perhaps there is something especially difficult going on in my life right now. Ask God to make my difficulty into a blessing. Let us remind ourselves today that from the rising of the sun to its setting, our lives are a blessing from God. Whatever our current difficult situations may be, we are called to rise up and overcome. Remember, we are blessed. Have a blessed week, all saints.